Uh, is unstoppable so far this season. And Jackson coming off two of his best offensive games. Five assists. Two and a half gone by. Opportunity for points off a Laker mistake. And Kobe smacked it away from Jackson. On the break, it's deflected. And it'll quit on the play defensively and strip, strips him of the ball as he's going up. Hits nothing but ball and then controls it, takes it the other way. Very nice play. Brian Cook right off the bench after 16 points in 19 minutes on Saturday night with a rebound. Kobe thinking about the baseline, splits the double. The strong right hander from the uh, screen and roll. And late development, he goes right past Kwame and Harrison and just hammers one down. He's just a... When he senses that they're out of position, he just attacks in a hurry. If he, if he scores 35 a game, I don't think that the Lakers will be as The two games where Kobe didn't play, but if he doesn't score that many, I know he might want to stay with Fred Jones. What a break for the Lakers. Give him a 15-footer. Kobe sets up. Ryan for pick and pop. He doesn't need first three try. And because it was kept alive, Kobe will track it down. Up and under with the left hand. How sweet was that? Left hand scoop, and all of a sudden, the Lakers only back by two as Kobe showing. Well, I got all the shots <laughs> and some. I like the way you put it. They're two of their defensive guards, uh, Fred Jones and Steven Jackson, because Carlisle is definitely a demanding guy. That was a wedge shot, way short. Kobe looked at Kwame. That wasn't available. In the bank. Money in the bank. Same time, is ideal. Two is not enough, and uh, four is too many. Kobe with a deep three. Strokes it home. Lead at the end of the break, and they also used a little bit of a run to close the quarter. Ten to two in favor of the Lakers. So they've recovered it. Head into the second quarter with a two-point advantage. Now the key is, does Kobe come out to start the second? Now the Lakers with the numbers. Smudge, backdoor lob, deflected. Kobe will keep it, though. Van Kobe in the paint. Gets the roll. And it has to be a very quick move. Uh, that was a slow move, and Devin was able to get about how they're going to finish this half. Kobe, will they go over Fred Jones? Well, he got Fred Jones to fall down on his wallet. After the move, by Kobe, up fake, and oops, a little shake, and oops, stop. Where are you going, Fred? Slide. You're safe. And Kobe says, thank you. <laughs> He's to Fred Jones. I guess I'd fall, too, if someone stepped on my foot, pushed me back, and then step on my foot, and then pull back yourself. <laughs> Kobe says, well, it's easy if they're going to let me get away with this. My bad. Transition. That has break point. That happened when Lamar fell. Kobe getting to find him. Man, it's going to be a block. Under the basket, well inside the restricted area, so they call the block continuation. Three-point opportunity coming for Andrew Bynum. Yeah, he, he never moved. As soon as it touches his hands out there, he gives it to a guard. Kobe, long two. It's all even at 40. He did a good job in the transition to get down there. He beat O'Neal. Kobe off the screen of roll. There's Bynum. He's available. And the finish. Off some foul difficulties, and he's responded. Lakers close the final 225 on an 8-2 run, and they're happy. So we'll come right back. Get ready. The Jack of the Box halftime report. Billy McDonald, Jack Haley coming. Lakers looking for the biggest lead of the game. They're up line four. Almost taken away on an errant pass by Kwame. Leaving it off. Smush. Great look from Kobe. Comes through. The one bringing it down. Uh, starting the offense. Working on the isolation against Steven Jackson for the fall away. This is a beauty. Balance. So Steven Jackson down, and Kobe's up. Have had some third quarters this year that are very forgettable. This is a four-minute dry spell for him. Kobe. <laughs> He'll get a line with him. rest to see if there's any seriousness about that tweaked ankle as Kobe <laughs> with the spin. Goes right between the two defenders, gets the contact, and gets the foul. And you don't have to worry about him getting it toward the basket. It increases. Kobe gets the roll. Here in this game, they haven't had many. Yeah. Hard to believe there's only eight turnovers apiece. Kobe, quick catch and shoot. Yeah. Nice pick, Chris Bim. And of course, and, the, what? Uh, and Kobe. <laughs> so you're feeding the fire? Oh, I love it. It's a shame. You're going to have to talk to the guy. Lakers by six. Make it set. Two. Fred Jones on the three-point play. He's got nine. Inside Kobe. Acrobatically got away from Fred Jones on the pass. Just a quick backdoor spin move and passes there and spins while he's in the air to find the hoop. 
Back to the basket while he's in the air. He turns. 38 minutes already, and we still have seven plus left. Now they bring that up. Good success this season. Almost no trans. So the Lakers out of the timeout, set it up for Sasha, and he delivers. Elgin Baylor on a season averaging 34.8. He'll nail me every time. No, no. Kobe uh -huh. gets the set. Didn't go back to Kwame, though. Now Kobe with a larger Granger on his back. Kobe in the paint, tripped up. He'll get it anyway. Three defenders there. He goes in. He gets contact, falling away, running away. Throws it up, throws it in. He's going to have himself a three-point opportunity when we come back. What a game this has been. Number eight, Kobe Bryant. Granger, a long defender. Jeff Foster. Everybody was around him. So even at 85, Kobe going strong inside with a finger roll. Two-thirds of them going home. It's going to be free throws for the Lakers because the right. Pacers They're know the game. All right. Three. 45 puts him in that elite company, oh, and he man. does it. He won. No fouls. <laughs> Chris Mim with the steal to seal the deal. Thank you so much, Joel. So Kobe Bryant, four straight games of 45-plus points. You're the first player since Wilt Chamberlain did this in 1964 to pull off the feet. I know you are a fan of basketball history. What does it mean to you? Man, uh, it means a lot. I mean, being uh being his company means a lot, and uh, you know, I'm just blessed to be able to play the game and try to maximize my God-given potential. You went on a tear like this in 2003, nine straight games of 40-plus points. You feel hot like you did then. Is this a similar feeling? Uh, well, tonight, not really. I, I, mean, I didn't shoot the ball particularly well from the field. Uh, just kept on attacking and uh, you know, trying to pick my spots to help our team win the ball game. You said before the game that you are willing this team to win. How long do you think you continue to will this team to win? <laughs> well, you know, it, it, it's just a part of me. I'm just very competitive, and uh, every time I step out there on the floor, I want to win, and uh, I try to trickle that down to my teammates so we all have that same attitude and that same killer mindset. You have played in a lot of close games recently, haven't always come out on the winning end. What was different tonight? We executed. You know, we did a good job down the stretch executing our offense and also making them take difficult shots on the defensive end. Talk about your team defense. I know you must be proud of that tonight, held in the 37% shooting. Yeah, we did an excellent job contesting the shots, uh, taking them out of their easy opportunities, and uh, you know, not giving them easy transition points. Kobe Bryant, an historic night. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.